Hi friends! The DDB function is used to calculate the depreciation of an asset using the double declining balance method or another specified depreciation rate. Let's go ahead and see how you can use the DDB function in Microsoft Excel. Open the desired Excel worksheet. Here for demo purpose, we are using a worksheet according to the DDB function. Please check the web URL given in the video description below this video for complete details, that is syntax and remarks. We are also showing the description of the function we're going to use here. To calculate the first day's depreciation using the double declining balance method and the default factor as 2, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals DDB open parentheses Select the cell that contains the initial cost, comma. Select the cell that contains the salvage value, comma. Select the cell that contains the number of periods over which the asset is being depreciated, multiplied by 365, comma. Type the period for which you want to calculate the depreciation, close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the result. To calculate the first month's depreciation, Select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals DDB open parentheses select the cell that contains the initial cost, comma, select the cell that contains the salvage value, comma, select the cell that contains the number of periods over which the asset is being depreciated multiplied by 12, comma, type the period for which you want to calculate the depreciation, comma, Type the rate at which the balance declines, close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the result. To calculate the first year's depreciation, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals DDB open parentheses, select the cell that contains the initial cost, comma, select the cell that contains the salvage value, comma, Select the cell that contains the number of periods over which the asset is being depreciated, comma. Type the period for which you want to calculate the depreciation, comma. Type the rate at which the balance declines, close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the result. To calculate the second year's depreciation using a factor of 1.5 instead of the double declining balance method, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals DDB open parentheses select the cell that contains the initial cost, comma, select the cell that contains the salvage value, comma, select the cell that contains the number of periods over which the asset is being depreciated, comma, type the period for which you want to calculate the depreciation, comma, type the rate at which the balance declines, close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the result. To calculate the 10th year's depreciation with the default factor as 2, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals DDB open parentheses, select the cell that contains the initial cost, comma, select the cell that contains the salvage value, comma, select the cell that contains the number of periods over which the asset is being depreciated, comma, type the period for which you want to calculate the depreciation close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the result. Wasn't that easy? Have a nice day! For more details, click on the i icon on the top right of the video. Check out our iYogi channel for self-help videos on Windows, Mac, smartphones, security, social media, and much more. Have something to ask or share? Pen it down in the comments. To get iYogi tech support, dial toll-free numbers. To stay empowered technically, subscribe to our channel.